The House of Representatives on Wednesday raised their alarm over the Ramita platform through which the Treasury single account of the federal government is operated. Through a motion by Jeremiah Umaru, APC Akwanga, Nasarawa, Egon Wamba, the lower chamber said trillions of naira had been passed through the Ramita platform and that the funds were unaccounted for due to the proliferation of sub-accounts by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. The House is worried that if this is not addressed, the country will continue to lose its revenue. Joining us live to discuss this issue is Elvis Isaiah, legal practitioner. Good evening and welcome to our news, uh, Elvis. Good evening and thank you for having me. Okay, well, a single treasury account in the first place, is it working? Uh, well, um, this is not the first time that the National Assembly will be raising an issue uh, with respect to the operation of the Treasury single account. Uh, if you take your mind back to 2015, the Senate had, you know, raised several issues on the operation of the account, um, issues relating to uh, the system that is being used for the purpose, uh, the one percent uh, commission charges. And of course, uh, currently we are also hearing about sub accounts that are being created at CBN uh, for the purpose of uh, operating this treasury single account. Uh, again, in 2018, uh, the, the uh, House of Representatives also raised an issue uh, on, 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 this, on the same on, on this same issue again in 2019. So we've had these issues about um, you know so many challenges facing the operation of the, of the single treasury account. What we haven't had is, you know, the political will and the genuine desire uh, to resolve these issues. It is not enough for the National Assembly to always raise alarm over uh, an issue as important as, you know, the priority of the Federation, uh, which is actually a constitutional matter, because the Constitution envisages that all revenues accruing to the Federation uh, will, be, will, be, will, be, will be, you know, kept in a, in a single account, and from which there must be a budgetary allocation uh, for spending. But over the years, we have seen instances where ministries and agencies of government would, uh, you know, open a, all kinds of accounts and monies are being uh, spent without the requisite uh, appropriation. So this is the right time for National Assembly to take, you know, what do what is necessary. They have the constitutional right to, you know, conduct oversight functions uh, on how this uh, uh, treasury single account has been operated. Because as it stands now, the purpose is being defeated. The purpose was to, uh, you know, uh, ensure transparency, uh, you know, accountability in our public revenue, and uh, you know, prevent multiplicity of accounts that were being operated by various agencies and agencies and ministries, and departments, and parasitas of government. Uh, but you know, the challenges we see today is that this is not being met because there, there hasn't been proper oversight function by the national assembly. So. Uh, my, my, my position is that it's not enough for us to just raise alarm like they have always done. This is not the first time. Uh, but this time around, there should be proper investigation. Uh, the proper uh, you know, authorities should be called to question uh, so that the members of the public can you know, uh, see exactly what's going on with the treasury single account. Are you placing the blame of uh, these uh, discrepancies or things that are happening with this remitter on the system itself or you're placing it on the human factor? Well, I don't think the system uh, the system is never a problem. The problem is those who are charged with the duty of um, you know operating the system. Yes, issues have been raised about the system, and that those issues have uh, you know has ranged from uh, monopoly. Uh, there's this talk that the remitter, uh, I mean, system specs which operates the remitter, mm. uh, is monopolizing the system, and they are the other ones that can uh, you know uh, they are involved in the in the, in the, in the transactions. Uh, people have also raised questions about the 1% commission that is payable on, on the funds um, and all of that. Uh, for me, I don't think the system is a problem. I think the human factor, uh, because right now we are seeing sub-accounts. The whole idea was to have a single account. Mm -hmm. So when you now have accounts that, you know, um, uh, the oversight functions of national assembly cannot reach and, you know, we cannot see at a glance, then there's a problem. It defeats your purpose. So for me, it's always it's always the people. It's not about the system. Um, we we always complain about systems in Nigeria. We complain about democracy. We complain about you know S Y Z. The problem is not the system. The problem is the people who are charged with the duties and responsibility of managing the system. And there has to be accountability. And that so that's where the oversight functions of national assembly comes to play. 
And for me, I blame National Assembly because they have the. This is a constitution. If you look at Section 80 and 162 of the Constitution, this is a clear constitutional mandate. A Treasury single account is a clear constitutional mandate. And the National Assembly has a duty to ensure that that is being followed. So for me, it's really not the system, but the people that are managing the system. Yeah, I was going to ask the rationale behind the sub-accounts because the aim seems to be defeated. If there are going to be sub-accounts uh, for something that we were applauding, I think it came in the, uh, in the time of uh, Muhammad Buhari as the president of Nigeria. Single treasury account, everybody was saying it was a good thing and all that. But from the experience we've had, whether it is the human factor or the system itself, wherever the problem is coming from that is making people to complain the way they are complaining right now, do you think a single treasury account will really work in Nigeria. Transparency aside, because we can have more than one and still be transparent if we want to be. So, But do you think a single treasury account will be uh, the answer to the problems of our uh, loose money uh, being thrown about anywhere and being, being taken by people who should not? Well, it, it has worked, uh, you know, I mean, it's not only in Nigeria we are operating the single treasury account. It has worked in so many other countries of the world. And so if it's not working here, then something must be wrong. Uh, so it's, it's really not the single treasury account as, as, as an idea that is the problem. It is how we operate it in Nigeria that is the problem. Uh, it's, it is sad that most, you know, uh, you know, viable principles that are brought from other parts of the world that have worked, uh, you know, lifted countries out of poverty in other parts of the world, when they get to Nigeria, they don't work. So that tells you that it's not really the idea itself. It's the way our manner it is uh, operated. So the single trader account can work, uh, but if that is if the CBO really wants it to work, there are even complaints that you know the funds that comes through the the, the, tra the single trader account uh, uh, to the commercial banks, money deposit banks, uh, there are complaints that they don't even get to the CBN uh, until you know many many uh, you know, until a long a long time thereafter. The idea was to ensure that these funds, you know, at the moment they are they are transferred through the, the system. They get to the CBA immediately, but we are hearing now that you know some banks, um, you know, delay in remitting these funds to the CBA. In fact, in 2019, um, the uh, the Senate had, I think, what was it, the Senate or the House of Representatives had, uh, they, they had um, invited the um, managing director of First Bank, you know, to come and explain, you know, some of these delays. So, um, you know, I will maintain my position that the problem is not really the system; the problem is the fact that. We don't want, you see, every, at any, any point in time in this country where we try to uh, come up with a system that will ensure transparency and accountability, we always, you know, find ways to defeat it. And that's what is happening right now. The rent stickers within the system, those who are beneficiaries of an opaque system, a system that is not open to uh, scrutiny, they are, they, are, they are at work again, you know, trying to scuttle the treasury single account uh, system. So for me, uh, it's really all part of the corruption that we have in Nigeria. Until yeah. we are really serious about dealing with the issue of corruption, we might not be able. To, no, no system will work. You know, I mean, this, the, the TSA, as, as, as it is called, is really not a problem. It's really just the fact that we are not ready to get anything to work because the rent seekers in the system, the police, those who depend on you know a corrupt system, will never allow it to work. And that's mm -hmm. where we are. Okay. And we need the political will. We need the National Assembly to just okay. you know uh, do their own talking in order to fix it. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Elvis, This for coming on our news today and giving us your thoughts. Thank you for having me. It was a great thing. We've been talking with uh, Elvis Asia, a legal practitioner, and we were talking about a single treasury account. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.